how it changed my life. And when I mean it, I mean epilepsy. Alright, quick disclaimer, my hair looks a mess. But on a serious note, everything said in this video is my opinion, and my experiences. I remember I had my first seizure when I was about seven. And I remember that day like it was yesterday. After that, I remember going to the hospital and just uh, waking up, obviously, with oxygen mask on my face and just shocked thinking what just happened. And yeah, it was just, it was a weird feeling. A really weird feeling. But because at the time I was really young, like, I didn't really think much of it. And um, it took a while. It took quite a few weeks of going back and forth and eventually got referred to a, um, a specialist and they obviously that's when I found out that I had epilepsy. And the only thing I was thinking and that was really scaring me was the fact that I was thinking those symptoms that I had 15 minutes prior to having the actual seizure, I just didn't want to experience again like the shortness of breath and seeing stars, feeling like you're going to fall over. Like, and they all intensify as, as you get closer to the seizure. And I was just thinking, I don't want to experience that again, let alone experiencing the seizure, having the seizure and waking up and feeling weak, like you haven't slept for days and just feeling like you've been beaten up and feeling really sore. I just didn't want to experience that all again. I remember asking the specialist, is there anything you can do to guarantee that I won't experience that again at least? Like, please, is there anything you can do? And Obviously they couldn't and that was what really just that was the tough part man. That was that was the real tough part about being diagnosed with epilepsy. Knowing that I'm gonna have to go through all of that again all like frequently. It's just and oh, I've never experienced anything like it. And it's like even now to this day, just before I have a seizure, the symptoms I have, it always feels like that's gonna be my last breath, like I'm gonna pass away. Like it's it's just that traumatic, like and you never get used to it. That's the, the scary thing. You never get used to it. Like, till this day it's the, the scariest thing I've ever witnessed and um I, I usually get like really emotional during that period just before I have a seizure. Slighting things up a little bit. Prior to my diagnosis, I knew nothing about epilepsy. Like these lot here, they're probably thinking, what am I doing? But yeah, I knew nothing. Anyways, one sec. Like I was saying, um, I didn't really know much about epilepsy prior to my diagnosis. And yeah, I didn't realise how bad epilepsy affects you in, in, in terms of, I feel like my anxiety. Uh, just to add on to that, I think the worst one for me is anxiety and panic attacks. Boy, man, it's really hard to remain calm when this happens because at the time I'm thinking, is this is is it really gonna happen? Am I gonna have a seizure? Or is my body just or my mind just playing tricks on me? And yeah, like oh, I hate that man. And that's the toughest part, like when you get anxiety, because some of the, the things I'm feeling is very similar to how I feel before I have a seizure. So Oh, yeah, confidence is really affected as well, which is probably a bit odd considering what I'm doing and being behind camera and whatnot. But yeah, sometimes you don't feel like going outside, and confidence is really affected. Yeah, man, there's there's a lot of um, things that people don't realise that that happens when when you have epilepsy. If that makes sense. Because I got diagnosed when I was very young at the time, I don't really remember there being that much information out there. All I remember is a specialist saying that you're going to have to start taking this medication. Which brings me on to my next point. Your interactions with people really do change. So anyways, here's a few examples. First you have the know it all. So how's the weekend been anyway? Been honest with you, hasn't been that great. I had a seizure, I've been in hospital. No way, you serious? Yeah, do you know what? I've been doing a bit of research and I got to say, you've been eating, your diet hasn't really been on point. You've been eating a lot of eggs of lately and stuff like that. You really need to change up your diet. That might do the job, you know? Really? Get your diet intact. It's all about the diet. Also, stay away from video games, stuff like that. TVs, all of it, it's all bad for your head. Just go for walks, rest. Then you have the rude person. You gotta sort it out. How are you gonna keep up having a job? 
employers will get fed up of you they'll give you the sack all right people will get fed up of you sort it out go down there have a chat with a doctor or some someone sort it out honestly mate sort it out you do realize it's out of my control right honestly mate i'm beginning to get fed up of you and all and then you have the person that's not interested too busy oh, i don't know business with you hasn't been that great at a seizure blimey arsenal typical arsenal eh look at look at where we are on the table look at ridiculous Oh, oh yeah, what did you say again, mate? Don't worry about it, it's all right. Anyways, I hope this video gives you a small insight of how my life has really changed. And lastly, if I was to give my younger self a bit of advice or somebody who's just been diagnosed, it would be this. Invest in finding your talents, interests and hobbies. Focus at becoming the best in something. This will make you feel better and bring you joy and purpose. And lastly, life is short, so live it to the fullest. And I would also add an interesting quote. Service to many leads to greatness. So don't worry about it if you're not where you want to be in life or you don't get a particular job. Because at the end of the day, as long as you're serving somebody, whether that, even if you're a cleaner, as long as you're serving somebody, and you might think, how, if I'm a cleaner, how am I serving somebody? Well, by you cleaning that toilet, they could be somebody who's physically impaired. And that particular day you clean the toilet, they find a nice and clean toilet. So at the end of the day, you're serving somebody. And just focus on serving, because that brings you the greatest satisfaction. That is where you'll get true joy. Service to many leads to greatness. Anyways, on that note, sweet.